During the COVID-19 pandemic, we've heard a lot about cytokine storms and the role that they might play in causing very severe disease. Cytokines are small molecules that are used by cells to communicate with each other, to send signals over distances and tell other cells in the body to take action. In the case of the immune response, cytokines are absolutely critical to mobilizing cells of the immune system and ramping them up, activating them, and signaling them to destroy virus-infected cells and to produce antibodies that bind to and prevent new viruses from spreading within an infected host and, and infecting new cells. So those cytokines are absolutely critical to coordinating the immune response. And one of the effects of cytokine production early in an infection is pro-inflammatory. That is, cytokines cause inflammation both at the site of the infection, where they've been recruited and activated, and sometimes systemic effects like fever that can be detected through the whole body. After immune cells destroy or contain the virus and prevent it from spreading within the body, there are down-regulatory cytokine signals that help shut that, that response down, to tamp it down, so that the response slowly tapers off, the tissues that were damaged by that original inflammation can be repaired, and the person recovers. In some respiratory viruses, that inflammatory response at the surface of the lung can be very damaging. Those cells are very thin, the, the layers of cells are very thin in the lung to allow air exchange, and that pro-inflammatory response can actually damage the tissue enough to allow it to become leaky, to become filled with fluid, to cause um, damage that when it's repaired leaves those cells thicker than they should be, preventing easy oxygen exchange. The inflammatory response in that case, the recruitment of immune cells to deal with the damage can result in an amplification, even more release of cytokines and even more inflammation, so something that's sometimes called even hyperinflammation. If this occurs in some parts of the body, that, that damage can be um, dealt with, can be managed. But when that damage occurs at the surface of the lung, it can impair oxygen exchange so profoundly that it actually um, stops the, the person's body from getting enough air to maintain organ function. This isn't the only way that the SARS-CoV-2 virus might cause damage, but the cytokine storm or the upregulation of pro-inflammatory cytokines without balance by a downregulation seems to be responsible for some of the most severe disease and may explain why the illness does not tend to be as severe in younger people, particularly children, who have not yet developed that robust inflammatory response that is a hallmark of the cytokine storm.